Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, this is video three. There is going to be at least a four and at least a five on product alone. Yes, there's that many. And then there'll be a roundup. And as I said, then we'll keep going and going and going. And I think what will come from this is potentially a couple of brand overviews of brands that really specialize in this kind of formula and product, more of which to come. Um, if you are watching this video first, there is a previous two that show retinols in um, not lesser strength. Well, actually, yeah, the, a, a slightly milder formula is a nice way of saying it. Doesn't mean they don't work, it just means it's not gonna cause as much irritation. That would be the hope and the aim. Uh, this one is, so the last week was kind of like 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 and very sort of department store led. This one is kind of around a 0 0.5 and there is the odd one in here that is labeled as something higher, but it's not. So I've put it in this group. Next week is the one percenters. Next week is the sort of, um, they're not really the, isn't str I don't like, I don't want to use the word strong. I will think of something. I will think of something that doesn't give you the impression that that the formulas I'm going to show next week are better than these or better than the previous two weeks. It is about the formula and hopefully that message will come across. At the moment I tend to be labeling these videos as if it's yoga, intermediate and beginner. So maybe I'll use advanced user, I don't know. What do you think? What should I use for the stronger ones? So I don't give the impression that they're better than the other formulas but that they do have a high percentage of vitamin A. Answers on a postcard too. I'm going to start with the only brand so far that has uttered the two words that myself and the biochemist and the uh, cosmetic scientist that I had checking over things just to back up my thinking, not to try and catch anyone out. Um, the words that they kept looking for were laser profilometry, i.e. clinical trial. We've so far found one. If you are a brand who has sent me your info and you did a clinical trial and you use laser profilometry, which is basically measuring, actually looking at the skin and measuring the skin, not just we know retinol has been clinically trialed here, so we put it on our formula. That's not telling me about your formula. If you did do that and I didn't get that information, I will happily put all of your info in another video and on the blog and make it right. However, at the moment, the only clinical trial, not study, trial on a full complete formula using laser on the skin on people it's not going to surprise you zelens the zelens power a high potency vitamin a is the only one so far that we have where we, we've seen we did a clinical trial we did it on this many women and we did it uh, using laser profilometry which is kind of the uh, what you're looking for when it, when it comes to a clinical trial now the breakdown of this, just to give you an idea, because I do this with all the others, on the inky, it is, ingredients are here, it ends here, and the three types of retinol in this product are here. They are, now I called the doc after I saw this and got it verbatim, encapsulated retinol at 0 0.2, retinol palmitate at 0 0.1, granactive retinoid at 0 0.2. Uh, it's actually, no, granactive retinoid at 2%, which gives you the equivalent on the skin of 0 0.2, which makes it a 0 0.5. Now, if he was going to label this the way other brands have labeled it, he would have 5% power A retinol complex blend all over the packaging. He doesn't mention a percentage at all. So thank you, Dr. Lenz, for telling me the, what's in the sort of bare bones of the ingredients. Um, like I say, they're all here. Now, it also that is also um, including 0.5% of vitamin E. In the formula because as i've said in previous video previous videos what's a video previous videos vitamin e really bounces off vitamin a and they make each other work really well together so for testing and not mislabeling the doc is a standout that should not be a surprise to most of you he's always said he does a clinical trial and everything but I've given everyone the fair playing field. If, like I say, if you have a clinical trial, not a, not a mild study, not a user study, I wanna see the words laser. Okay, that is Zellens. Um, this one came in only recently. I haven't tested it properly. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, played with it on my face properly. However, I was asked about it a lot, especially from the Americans. Dr. Brand, 2% retinol complex. Looks like this. Now, here is a clear reason. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you for why I'm showing it. 
Dr. Brent fans will love it. It seems to be a perfectly nice formula. Why is it in this video, Caroline, if it's 2%? Because it's not 2%. Um, it looks like this. Massages away very nicely. It actually smells of nothing, which I enjoy. Um, it says it's 2%. The word complex should always make your ears prick up and your eyes face forward because I promise you this is going to be actually around a 0.2 and here's for why. It does contain retinol but this is me guessing by the way. The retinol is here and the phenyloxyethanol is here. So we know that anything after this, generally anything around but definitely anything after this is less than 1% and the retinol is here. So there is no way that it is a 2% retinol. I'm not saying that it is um, not a great product. I'm sure it is. I'm just saying read the labels. So if you do want, um, and I'll also, I'm not clear on what the complex part is because I couldn't find another type of retinol in it. So like I've said, if I am absolutely wrong, please let me know. It's all about just, I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to give the correct information. Um, feels like a great formula on the skin, absorbs really nicely, but it's not a 2%. Joanna Vargas, supernova serum, stimulate and illuminate, a multidimensional retinol serum that visibly improves firmness, enhances clarity and restores youthful vitality. Now, this one is a mixture of retinol palmitate and retinol. Uh, the retinol palmitate is slightly higher on the inky list. Uh, I have deduced that it is in there at around a 5%, giving a 0.5 reaction on the skin. So it's a good, solid, high percentage but being and i'll show you as well phenyloxyethanol is here and retinol is here and retinol palmitate is here they are high up the inky list um i trust joanna's formulas i trust her if you are this is one of the higher price point retinols but her clients love it and i was asked about it after she was in a recent video which if you haven't seen you should it is an hour of entertainment um solid product solid formula around a 0.5 or above it's i don't think it's going to be lower than a 0.5 um and i'll just oh i've got it here where i didn't put it away properly earlier sorry about that looks like this this is also um like she says a multi-dimensional product it is loaded with peptides so some of the formulas i'm showing you are very clean as in now when i use the word clean what i mean is minimal so don't be confused i don't mean detox goop clean i mean a clean line as in retinol squalane blah 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 and that's it with this one i mean it's a multi-dimensional heavy duty formula and it's loaded with peptides so you are paying for more here verso confuses me i'm not going to lie i'm including it because so many of you have asked about it now it feels like a great a great night cream now verso i think um have i don't know how many SKUs they have pretty sure they all have the retinol 8 in it it is a retinol retinol 8 it is retinol retinoate it is right down here and it is they told me it's 0.06 however retinol retinoate is um closer to transretinoic acid so you don't really have irritation um with this one you don't have oh sorry i got a bit carried away then uh you don't have uh, too many conversion stages sorry you'll know what i mean if you've watched the previous videos if you haven't you're probably thinking what the hell is she talking about it's a good cream and verso fans love it so i'm including it um i will probably do a more dive down in depth um not so much a brand overview but i will definitely put more information on a blog post i don't think i'm doing this cream justice i'm just being very fair um it feels like a beautiful soft cream um I do remember using this quite a few years ago, maybe it was when it first came out, and I had absolutely no complaints. Um, this one in particular is the night cream, but shea butter is the third ingredient, so it's nicely buffered. Um, like I say, I'm going to revisit this one. So it's lovely, and if you love it, I would wholly approve and endorse. I don't know enough about it to give you my absolute seal of approval, but I'm going to have a deeper dive. Uh, two ladies. Two ladies. Um, Kate Somerville, plus retinol Vita C power serum, looks like this. This is 0.4%. Now, this is, what I love about this is that they're turning the whole thing we think we've learned about skincare on its head and they are using vitamin C in the formula with the retinol, whereas obviously traditionally 
it's kind of become this wives tale that you can't use them together and all this sort of stuff but as always formula is king or queen um so the retinol vitamin c power serum is i would say probably their gold standard as far as kate somerville goes in terms of a retinol product and the inky list is here 0 0.4 there and the retinol is very nicely at the top um no complaints from me you know i love a bit of kate i'll show you what it looks like my hands are going to be so soft after this so here and gone actually no doesn't smell of anything um next female facialist renee rouleau advanced resurfacing serum multi-action retinol treatment looks like this this is also a 0 0.4 they're both encapsulated this is micro encapsulated how's this for an inky list it ends here and the retinol is at the top and she is very clear with retinol and then in brackets pure vitamin a i said vitamin for you renee because you're an american i hope you appreciate my efforts um this looks like this what i love about renee is she is uh she's still only b to c which is lingo for uh, the business to customer they only send direct mail you cannot buy it in a store uh, it does mean you're limited if you want to buy it over here you have to bring it in and pay taxes and things like that but hey could be a silver lining to brexit you never know at this point i'm clinging to any kind of hope of positivity um advanced resurfacing serum what renee does not know about formula and about retinol is not worth knowing so i highly highly recommend and i will link below she has done a numerous blog posts on retinol and vitamin a and how to use them in products and what results you should expect i love her she's a genius we've touched on it before i love that there are like the women are representing kate renee joanna get in okay now these ones are i've kind of made them towards the end in terms of efficacy uh correct labeling and accessibility in the uk so i recognize that renee and joanna in particular you can't really get here so i'm going to home in on these the first one is lixa skin uh night switch retinol at one percent looks like this now it is one percent but it's in this group because the feedback we got from them was so crystal clear and so impressive because they said openly it's a one percent but we advise that you mix it with universal emulsion and that brings it down to a 0 0.3 so a 0 0.3 is delivered into the skin and they even say in the documentation 0 0.3 which is the recommended eu allowance love it crystal clear bang on the money thank you very much um their advice is to use this for four weeks mixed with this this buffers it and then after four weeks you switch it up you keep the universal emulsion so this is your base cream and you switch to either a vitamin c i'm not entirely sure what the other ones are but again i will put all that information in the corresponding blog post it's not there yet people You've got to give me time i had to get my head round them all first so that when i know i'm au fait then i will crack on with blog posts so this also has a great price point so uh Lixa skin did very well in testing just going to move the universal emulsion out of the way skin suticals retinol 0 0.5 uh like i said in the last video l'oreal could not have been more accommodating when i bombarded them with questions you need to be aware that at the moment you can only get this in america uh you might be able to get it in other places like canada and other places but you won't find it in europe i don't think it is coming back now i don't know uh when but they did have it and they sent it to me so it's obviously it went away for a while and then they're back the 0 0.5 and the one the one percent is in the next video um i love skin suticals it's one of my favorite i call them a tech brand they're a professional brand you see them in spas you can get them in other um big retailers i'm pretty sure they sell in selfridges in one of the spa bits at the back they're not on the main shop floor um and this again everything here you know what it does they're not making any big overreaching claims the retinol is bang in the middle where you would expect it at a 0 0.5 uh really solid formula really solid advice they cannot go wrong if all this ended tomorrow this would be one of the brands i would say please give me a job one of them there's about 10 but they would be on the list uh three more that are spa led spa led clinic led i don't like the word spa to me if you're going to call yourself a spa you better have a pool okay neostrata and exuviance i'm going to do these two together and i'll do exuviance first these are ah, sister brands they're always going to be ladies they're not going to be boys 
they're sister brands. So Exuviance is the slightly uh, better price point and the Neostrata is, is sort of this company's version of SkinCeuticals. So this is sort of um, slightly more serious, I would, I would suppose. However, having said that, Exuviance do brilliant products. If you um, follow me on Instagram and on the blog, you'll know that I rave about my girlfriend Pam Marshall's facials at Mortar and Milk in Fulham. And she uses Exuviance and gets brilliant results. Now this, again, they were very clear. It is a 1%, it delivers a 0.2, but it is all, uh, it's all microencapsulated. It also has the double wall packaging, which is really helpful. Um, and they have patented neoglucosamine, clinically, clinically proven to work synergistically with retinol. So these guys will always get a high score from me. I love, I do like a clinical brand. I am drawn to a facialist brand, a clinical brand. Um, a brand made by someone, I always say, if you don't have a lot of money, spend it on a brand whose job it is, is to take care of skin, if that makes sense. So super retinol concentrate, time release, micro encapsulated retinol formula, 1% delivers at 0.2. And I love that they just gave me the information like that. There was no mansplaining. It was just, hi Caroline, here's what it is. Yes. Neostrata, retinol plus NAG complex. Uh, this again is retinol, neoglucosamine, this high strength complex delivers, see, delivers 0.5 pure stabilized retinol along with the patented NAG, I call it NAG, <laughs> very apt, my husband might say, to amplify and intensify the volumizing and firming effects versus retinol alone. So these guys using their NAG complex do something similar to a brand that isn't in this video, it was in last week's and it's gonna be in the next two. They buffer it with things help to help boost the retinols delivery into the skin and to keep it efficacious. So the other one that does it is people like Medicaid. Medicaid have a massive, um, uh, massive trial process in terms of making sure their formulas stay stable and they've added bits to their formulas too. So that's for another video, I won't confuse the issue. But these guys all lush. And then my last one, I introduced Trini to this when I gave her a facial at Teresa Tommy's clinic. This is Aesthetica's Retroderm. This is 0.5, it also comes in a 1% and I think in the States under a slightly different brand name you can get it at 0.75. Um, again, very, very clear direct instructions. The inky list is very small and the retinol is bang in the middle. Um, protein rich retinol, this is really good because it's in a, oh, like a, hang on, let me make my words right. I was gonna say collagen peptide, soluble collagen base. So. It's kind of what I call skin friendly. And it has, it literally does not smell of anything. How bizarre. Like nothing. Hmm. It's been a while since I used that one, but I did use up a couple of bottles of that when I was doing facials at Teresa's. Great formulas. So brief recap. The doc is the dude, clinical trial man, 0.5, lush. Another doc, there's, a, there's a, clearly a habit here. 2% uh, retinol complex serum, Dr. Brandt, Feels like a beautiful formula. I'm sure it would be lovely to use. Just a reminder to read labels because it's actually a 0 0.2. Uh, Joanna, Joanna Vargas. Um, stimulate and illuminate, multi-dimensional. Bear in mind, um, there were questions on the Joanna video about her price points. Bear in mind, she is a smaller brand. That means she will pay a higher premium for her ingredients because she won't be making at the level of, say, these guys or these guys. So you're gonna pay a bit more for that. And I trust her formulas implicitly. They're loaded with peptides plus the retinols. Um, we think delivering around a 0.5 into the skin, lush. Verso Night Cream, 0.06 is what they told me. I thought it would be, I think it's gonna be slightly higher than that when I dive down into it, but I will do Verso the justice of paying a bit more attention to them. But as a formula, it feels beautiful. And I might even take it home and use it tonight because it feels like a beautiful night cream. Kate, my mate Kate. Uh, plus retinol white C power serum, really busting through the myth that you can't use vitamin C and retinols together, the same way she did with retinols and acids together. The key is it has to be in the same formula. You don't really mix and match. It's not handbags here, people, it's skincare. 0 0.4, the retinol is super high on the inky list. Bob's your uncle. Renee, uh, don't forget to go and read her blog posts. She does them really, really regularly. I trust her formulas implicitly. Again, this is another 0 0.4 and the retinol is here. Can you see the red line? That's all inky and the retinol is there. 
and then Lixer Skin buffered with this, which is just great, and I loved their information was solid. Uh, this is probably amongst the most affordable ones here. You can get this in Liberty and I think Cult Beauty and obviously online, I will link to that. And the joy of course being that once you've bought this, you have this as your base and then you just add the other ones to it. And then Skin Suitable 0.5, cannot go wrong, workhorse, steady eddy. Neostrata and Exuviants, they kind of sit like this in the family tree. I'll tell you what they are. This is, let me get it the right way. Uh, this is Gap. This is Banana Republic. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, both do a great job and both will be available in a clinic near you. And then Retroderm. Retroderm, this is the 0 0.5. So this is a nice starter position. They go up to a 1%. That will be in next week's video. Hope that was clear. Uh, any questions, let me know. Uh, th like I say, I'm gonna try and get the videos up maybe to a week until we're done and then I'm just gonna keep going. And then the blog post will start. They're being prepped now and then we will be like, have a good week, see you soon, bye.